In this uh, video, we, uh, I will cover PHP array. Uh, an array is a data type that contains one or more items called elements. Uh, each element stores a value that can uh, or you can refer to uh, with an index. Uh, the length of an array indicates the number of elements that uh, it contains. Uh, let's see how we can create an array in PHP. Uh, in order to create an array in PHP, we need a variable to hold the array for you. So in this case, I'll call it an array. It can be any name as long as you follow the rules of uh, variable creation in PHP. I can simply go ahead and type array function. So an array, an empty array will be created in this case, and uh, you can later on start uh, uh, initializing uh, its element uh, with new values. Uh, the other wo uh, way of creating your array is just go ahead and put an array and use square brackets to create the array. Both will result in the same. Uh, so if I go just dump, wire down the uh, array here, you will see it will create an empty array. Right, no, uh, no value in there. Uh, the other way of doing this is, as a matter of fact, let me just put in a chart here to separate these uh, objects. You can see the better I call it up. Uh, I can go ahead and create an array and start initializing the array right at the moment of creation. So in this case, I add the four elements. Uh, if I go ahead and just do word down uh, for this array, so you would be able to see that array is created with four elements. As you have noticed, the very first element index uh, is zero, and the last one is at the length of the array minus one. I can do the same thing with the square bracket as well. So I can go ahead and just change the array part with square bracket like this. And then if I go ahead and copy the echo the chart here, separate the output, you will see the result are identical. I can access individual elements of the array if I need to uh, by using the array name, in this case array, square bracket, all the time, and then a reference or an index to one of those elements. Uh, first one being zero, second one is one, third one is two, and the last one is three. So if I want to access the very first element, I can simply access it with zero index. I can assign a value to this. Or I can simply create a variable and assign the value of the first element to my value. I can also add element, uh, a new element to the array by just using the square bracket without any index uh, inside the square bracket. Uh, so in this case, it simply will automatically create a new element at the end of the array and add the value 20 to the end of the array. Uh, in order to add element to the end of the array, simply I can do another way. I can go ahead and uh, use the count function. Count will always return me uh, the number of elements in this array. So if I go ahead and uh, simply print the count in this case, see how many elements we have, of course, I need another HR to separate the output, so we can call them up. So if you look at this, we have five elements in this array. The reason is uh, here I added uh, here I added a new element to the end of the array. So let me let me just uh, do a wire down for you before I go on, so you can see the value of the array after adding a new element to it. So in this case, uh, if I do this, then you will see I have five elements starting from zero to four. So if I just go ahead and echo the count, you see I have five elements. Now I want to go ahead and see uh, or print the very last element. I can simply go ahead and the reference uh, in between the square bracket. Remember, I could put one, zero, two, or whatever reference I have. In this case, I will just go ahead and add the count, which returns me the number of elements, right? And make this minus one because the last index of the array that I'm working with is four. The total was five element minus one. Is four. So if I did this, simply should give me value twenty. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh,